going to be far, far worse. Professor Anderson, thanks very much indeed. Well, Festus Akimbosoye campaigns to ban CAT. Uh, he was listening to what Professor Anderson had to say. Uh, Festus, good afternoon to you. Thank you very um, much for having me. What did you make of what uh, Professor Anderson said? Well, I, I heard everything he said, and um, it's, in my opinion, a bit regrettable that he will consider the experience of the women uh, who come to uh, the constituency where uh, I work with Mark Lancaster, Member of Parliament, who has been really com campaigning uh, assiduously in Milton Keynes to get this thing banned, um, to hear their stories and describe it as just anecdotes. I, I think that's quite unfortunate. He, he comes it, at this from a scientific point of view, doesn't he? I mean, yes, he looks at hard uh, clinical evidence and actually the stuff you're talking about he would probably describe as, as anecdotal or political or opinion, I think was the word Yes, and, and, and you know, I, I would challenge him to come into Milton Keynes and uh, you know, listen to uh, the, this women, hear their stories and tell them to their faces that what they're going through, the challenges in their families, the children unable to um, concentrate in school because they're just hyperactive, um, the men being away from home for mm. six, seven hours a day, as it happens, chewing because there's a social element to to the cat uh, plant as well, and describe that as anecdotes. Just to kind of put this into context. Uh, before you, before you do that, before we just leave that point, I, I could take Professor Anderson to parts of the UK uh, where I could introduce him to women who feel that uh, their men folk spend too much time in the pub. Uh, and they develop long-term social problems, it yeah. disrupts family life, it leaves them with long-term uh, problems in terms yeah. of holding down jobs and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. But we, we don't boo, we, we're not banning alcohol. Ah, well, yes, we're not. There's a cultural element to alcohol with a long track record. Okay, that's one. Secondly, alcohol is a controlled substance in some regard. Anyone cannot just go into a pub and buy a pint of lager. Yeah. In the UK at the moment, cat is on control entirely. An uh, eight, 18 or 80 year old can go and ban cat as well. That's an, argue, that's an argument for controlling access to, to this, yes. not banning it out. And right. what we're doing is banning it out. For right. the benefit of your audience, here's one I got earlier. I promise I did not pay for it. I have not chewed it as well. One of my friends got it for me yesterday. Uh, and they spend six, seven hours at a time chewing this. I don't think uh, uh, in, anywhere where you have a situation where someone is consuming alcohol for six or seven hours at a time, uh, you know there is a big problem and any health professional will tell you that something needs to be done. I was going to just say something um, um, earlier, which is to put this into context. We have about 3,000 tons, 3,000 tons of cat plants being imported into Britain every year. The UK equivalent. is becoming quite a hub, isn't it? It is. This is the equivalent of 57 tonnes a week. The world's largest cargo aircraft, uh, the uh, Anatov 225, this is the equivalent of that big aircraft landing in Heathrow every single month. Every single month. Now, I don't believe that the, the, entire, the entirety of the Somali community in the UK or the Ethiopian or the Yemeni consumers of CAT can go through 3,000 tonnes a year. Well, where do you think the rest of it goes? Where is it, it goes going? into... Well, there's evidence to suggest from the case what we've had in the office with Mark Lancaster's um, um, campaign that it goes into other parts of Europe where, as it happens, this is illegal in France, Germany, much of the EU, and also in the Netherlands, which, as we all know, has a pretty liberal attitude towards drugs. Yeah. It is illegal in the Netherlands as well. Professor Anderson didn't mention that. Not just America, but also Canada, China, and in Saudi Arabia. So what do, th and one of the things that we hear people say in the constituency where Mark hosts these surgeries with the communities, they're asking him, what do these countries know that we don't know? Mm -hmm. The thing is, Vester, you're arguing uh, as if this argument hasn't been won. You've won this argument. The Home Secretary is banning that plant from June and in this I country. And uh, uh, I commend her greatly for being very courageous in dealing with this. Uh, and the Conservative government, I, I believe, is throwing itself on the line in doing this. Uh, and I think there's no political points to be won here. In my opinion, it's a case of where, well, yes, there's the science, but there's also the social impact. And to say because it happens to just a minority of people, in my opinion, in, in, in effect, is almost prejudicial in my view. And I think uh, the, the government is making exactly the right thing, making the right step in putting, um, making this uh, illegal. And one final point, I mean, you know, on the question of illegality, Professor Anderson, I put the question to him, but he made the point, didn't he, that there's always a danger when you ban any substance, particularly one that's been used legally, that you force it underground. And, and these collections of individuals, men predominantly, who get together, we, we presume fairly amiably at times, in the open to some degree, chewing cat will now be forced to buy it 
from criminals. To chew it will be a criminal offence in its own right. They'll be forced underground. Mm -hmm. This argument is made whenever any kind of um, uh, suggestion is made to control any substance. It does not mean, nevertheless, that we should have a free-for-all. Uh, and I think uh, you know, a lot of these arguments, in my opinion, simply do not wash, and the government is doing exactly the right thing. Okay, first I've got to leave it there. Really appreciate you coming Thank in. You. Thanks a lot. And bringing your prop as well. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Soon to be illegal. Uh, sport at a moment. Chris Scudder has that.